Praise the Lord. Today marks a year since Granny Ma has taken eternal rest with the Father. Hallelujah. For we know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord when Jesus has been made your Lord and Savior and you've repented of your sins. Excuse the wind out here. Hallelujah. But um, I just came out here today just to visit her on this first anniversary. Glory to God. We got our, uh, we got Grandpa right beside of her. We got Mom, my mother, next to her. And we got my aunt, my mom's sister, Aunt Gracie. And we got a great uncle, my grandpa's brother. And another brother um, of my grandfather, Lazy Pierce. So we, we just, uh, we thank God for, or I say I thank God for the wisdom um, and experience that I obtained in dealing with Granny Ma. Uh, in the last eight months of her life where she endured sickness um, It taught me something it taught me something about God's will concerning those who have gone down in health Sometimes the Lord will choose to heal a person here while on earth or sometimes he may Just take them on and heal them on the other side of glory um, But the key thing is that person has got to be saved. They must be born again. They must have repented of their sins and uh, Know Jesus as their Lord and Savior that's the only way a person can truly rest in peace. And because I know that grandma is no longer suffering, hallelujah, I uh, understand and I have peace in my heart and mind, first and foremost, because of my relationship with Jesus Christ. And then secondly, because I know she's no longer suffering. Hallelujah. So I, I've, I've come to understand that sometimes it's God's will to heal. Um, while a person is still living or sometimes it's best just to let them go. I understand also that you cannot be selfish. You cannot be selfish and wanting a person who's suffering like that um, to stay here. You know, uh, you don't know exactly what they're going through. A lot of times they're, they're so bad off. Um, they're not cognitive. You know, they're not able to respond in a manner where they can, you know, present their desire to you. So you have to pray, you know, God will be done and you have to pray and ask God, you know, to give you peace in releasing that person. Uh, the night before my grandmother passed, my brother had came down and we spent the night uh, talking to her, even though she was not cognitive. She was on morphine. At this point, she was in hospice and uh, was dehydrated. Everything. It was just rough. And she was not aware of what was going on. But we were just sitting by her bedside, thanking her for everything that she had done. Um, letting her know everything would be all right. Hallelujah. And truly everything um, is all right, has been all right, and will continue to be all right. And it was that next morning, hallelujah, um, that the, the doctors, well, the, the, the nurse's aide came in to, to roll her over. And that woke me up. And I got up and was standing over her. And as I was standing over her, my God, I mean, like I said, she had gotten bad. She was dehydrated and uh, not eating and her tongue had already begun uh, to roll in the back of her mouth. I mean, it was it was crazy. But, you know, even in the midst of that, I still had peace. And she, she passed right there um, while I was standing over her. Um, and to have endured all of this, I, I can truly say that that God truly is faithful to his word. Um, he's truly faithful to his word. He'll give you peace. Hallelujah. Did he Hallelujah. He'll give you peace. Glory to God in the midst of, cir of, of circumstances and, and things of this nature. But we have to know and put it all in his hands and, and not worry about it. Glory to God. Of course, we'll miss you'll miss those who pass on. But you have to receive God's will and just say, you know, Lord, your will be done. So I encourage somebody, um, use wisdom, you know, pray God's will concerning that person who's, who's sick in your family or your friend that uh, you seek God's will concerning their life and, and what God desires to do for them, whether he chooses to heal them on this side of glory or the other side of glory. And make sure that that person is saved. Have that assurance. Make sure that person is saved. Minister the gospel to them. Share Jesus Christ with them. Hallelujah. So that they can make heaven their home. I pray you've been encouraged. God bless. Love you all. Thank you all for everything that you've um, ever done concerning God.